So today I'm going to share a layout that I made using foam pads dipped in the color wheel inks. Now these inks are very saturated, they're very pigmented, they're wonderful. And so I just had to put the foam um, pieces just a little bit in the ink and a lot of pigment came off of them. So I got a lot of mileage out of the pads that I used. And I'm just kind of moving them around on top of the stencil that I held down with some washi tape there on top of a 3x4 card that is Foundations Paper from Vicki Wooten. And I love the way that the colors mix together as you see there, pinks and the yellows kind of turning into an orange. And I love the way all these colors go together. That's why it's nice to buy a set like this because you know that they're all the right shade to mix together for a, a nice little palette. So what I did for this one is I put all of that on there, and at the top it got a little mixed, but I thought, eh, we'll call it art. And then I actually go over it later with some glaze, just for a little bit of shimmer. And here I'm just taking the foam, I'm trying to think what it's called, like a little, um, almost like a makeup foam thing, and just putting it directly on the card that was actually left over from the ink. And then I'm using one of the stencils from the Wildflower and Honey and putting one of the darker shades over it just in a couple spots. And I love how that turned out. And, you know, this whole thing I'm doing here, I was just playing around. I didn't really know what I was going to do with these cards. I just wanted to kind of play and see what these inks would look like going through these stencils with this little foam, um, these little foam pieces here. So now I'm playing with the blue set, some blues and greens. I love this dotted stencil. I'm sorry that it's out of the camera. I don't know why I didn't catch that that wasn't um, videotaping all of it. But I decided to, I didn't like the way that looked at the top, so I tried to do this, the technique that I had just done where I grabbed the foam and just put it directly on. And I kind of liked the contrast of having the dots and then the solid color at the at the other end and I end up using a white marker a white pen marker to do some journaling in that solid block there so I'm doing another one of the blue palettes on the flowers I loved the way this one turned out and I did add shimmer on top of this by taking a stencil brush and mixing it with a tiny tiny bit of um, water and um, silver um, ink there. You can see I pushed down just a little bit of the ink on a piece of plastic and ran the stencil brush over it and it just adds a really nice little shimmer there that you can see. Kind of just doing a close-up here of these. I love the way those turned out. And so what I did then is I hunted after I made these for some photos that they might pair well with and I found this one of my daughter on the swings a few years ago and love the way that it went with those circles. And then I found a different photo that I actually used with this card. And I used the metallic color wheel there to stamp these big numbers because she was three at the time. So I just did an age three and then I wrote a little story about what it's like to look back on the photo and think about her now two years later. You can see that's how that and I ended by stamping the Enjoy Today and the, and the leaf from the Wildflower and Honey stamp set. And then for this one, I wanted to put a title there at the bottom. So I'm taking some washi tape and masking the parts of the stencil that I don't want to um, include. And this stencil works great if you want a title because you can just cover the sentiments that you want and then just put glaze or here I'm using some molding paste with the wedge, which is my new favorite thing because it's just so helpful. And it goes on so easily. I only had to do that a few times and, and it went right on. And it actually dried pretty quickly too, so I was pretty pleased. I feel like I'm going to get a lot of mileage out of that molding paste as well. So then I just peeled this up and it went on beautifully, very clean. And I tend to just clean the stencils with baby wipes. I don't want to walk back to the sink even though it's just right outside my door. I'm too lazy to do that. So I love the way that that looked as well. And this one, this layout doesn't have a ton of journaling. It just has that little thing I wrote there with the white paint pen and I die cut one of the flowers from the stamp set just to go in the middle of those two and some of the leaves to pull those two dot patterns together. Thanks for checking it out.